y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Pisces, Summer Rising Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray y'all have a beautiful and blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. And I pray you had a beautiful and blessed weekend. And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Pisces, this is the second time I'm doing a reading. The first time I did it, the mic was on, literally like this. But there's no sound. So, <laughs> uh, I am like, something doesn't want you to get this message. And I promise you, it was a very, very beautiful beautiful reading and i hope the same energy comes back let's pray angels ancestors spirit guides of the highest white light please come down and protect me please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel michael holy spirit please come down and protect me guide me and keep me safe and please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today for other messages today for pisces summer rising venus and northern i'm like how did this happen? I check, I be checking before I get on. I'm like, something did not want you to hear the message. Just did not want you to hear the message. You have wisdom coming in. You're very wise. Okay, so this is you, and you're also very loyal. Look at the dog. I'm speaking to someone who's extremely loyal, and it's like you want loyal people around you too. Lo loyal people, people that are wise, people that trust in their intuition and their judgment, people that have their own mind, people that are leaders, not followers. Okay, you could be attracting people that are of leadership. You could be in a leadership position, or you could be someone that teaches families. You could teach men, women. You could be someone who is a teacher, a guru, a prophet. You may give advice. It's like you teach out. And it has to do with people in the community. It has to do with your community. It has to do with growing and evolving and also pro providing insight. Okay, you could do something where it's like you are very knowledgeable or people come towards you because you're very insightful with that book. I'm seeing here red could also be significant as well as purple. Purple is all about intuition and judgment. That's why y'all always see the purple lights. It's all about connecting to your intuition, your higher self. Okay, the other side, the spiritual realm, it says it's also a very regal and royal color. Purple, you could like the color purple. Red is also for dominance, for control, for power. So you could be in a place of power or hierarchy or high ranking because of your intuition, because of your judgment. I'm seeing here, yeah, this is a similar energy coming out. Okay, very good. Thank y'all. This is spiritual strength. So it's like your ancestors, your angels, and your spirit guides are uplifting something off of you in the spiritual realm so that you can have positive energy moving forward. Yeah, it's time for you to reap your harvest with material and spiritual prosperity. I was talking to someone that y'all getting ready to live in like a vineyard, a vineyard type of energy. You guys could be visiting a vineyard like Spain, Italy. Okay, I'm speaking to someone that's getting ready to travel overseas. Yeah, literally, like, you're about to have fulfillment of your wishes coming in. Something that you have manifested, some, something that you have been praying about, something that you may have been wanting for a long time is getting ready to come towards you. Okay, literally, people are going to know that you are truly blessed and truly highly favored by your material and spiritual prosperity. They're going to be able to see it. Okay, they're going to be able to sense it and they're going to be able to see how blessed you are. It's like you're going to, people are going to be able to see God in your life. God working in your life. Yeah, there's about to be a treasure chest open for you. Literally, this is a, this is your treasures coming to you. This is your desires, your wants. 99 could be significant as well. This is the ending of a cycle that's go, that you're going through at this time. Seven was sticking out. Yeah, triumph. This is a similar energy. You are about to triumph. Okay, yeah, accelerated motion. This popped out as well. Set, um, what is it? Six, seven, eight, and nine is significant. And this came out again. It definitely came out again. Thank y'all for bringing out similar, the same energy. This was the same energy in the first reading. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's like your spirit guides are like, all right, we got you. We're just going to give you the same. <laughs> they want you to get this message out. They want you to hear this message. That's, this is. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine. You are in sequence. Nine, eight, seven, six could be significant as well. Ninety-nine is here. Someone could be born on the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, or the ninth. June, July, August, or September could also be significant to you. Hey, okay. oh, she's here. Her she's <laughs> confirmation. But yeah, there's spiritual strength that you have around you. 
with this beautiful energy. Okay, let's see. What else does Pisces need to know? Season, thank you. What else does Pisces need to know? Ooh, Pisces, all right. Either you used to have a, lo a love affair going on or someone here could have been trying to keep something hidden, a private relationship from you. I'm seeing here, yeah, divine feminine. So, I, okay, y'all. So I could be speaking to somebody. You could be ha having like a hookup with somebody, Pisces. <laughs> Or someone here could have tried to put you as a hookup energy, but you are a divine feminine. So how does that work? It doesn't. Yeah, this person could have wanted you to settle for them or agree with them, agree to compromise with them. Yeah, they could have given you some type of offer. This even could have been like a dirty offer. They wanted you to literally compromise. They wanted, they wanted it to be like a commitment. Yeah, this was nasty. This was a poisonous. This was unhealthy. Whatever this is, is unhealthy. It's toxic. This, this could be an individual that likes, you know, un, unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy people. Somebody here is very poisonous. Yeah, whatever the situation is with this person, they could have wanted it to be like a friends or benefit situation. All that, Father God does not agree to none of that, okay? Father God, you ain't going to live no blessed life living like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't care what it looks like on the outside. Do you have inner peace within you? That's what really matters, okay? Like, literally. Mm. Someone here, yeah, they could have wanted you to just, they could have wanted to sleep around with you and sleep around with everybody else, and they could have wanted you to be cool with that. What's this love affair about? Yeah, something could be happening today or in the present moment. What's this love affair about? Yeah, so someone here's realized, yeah, you're, this person is karmic, and they could be real, they, were, they could have put you in a third-party situation, a third-party relationship. This is someone that it came into your life to teach you lessons, and they realize that you are embodying unconditional love. Or you want unconditional love. You want a love that is certain, that is true, that is honest, that is real. Yeah, you want a family. And this is someone that wanted to put you in a karmic situation, a karmic relationship. They wanted you to be cool with that. Yeah, you could have a lot of bad memories with this person as well. This is someone that's always like on the up and down. They're, ugh, and they're focused on you very heavily too. They're watching what you have going on. And Archangel Michael's blocking whatever they're trying to project your way to. They could be like looking at you, watching you, watching your picture. They're trying to project something. Yeah, because look, this is someone that's like in front of a computer or a phone. Whatever they're in front of or whatever they're trying to like hone in on to do, Archangel Michael is blocking it out. You are divinely protected from harm. This is the, the, the oof, can't even speak, divine intervention. Literally, yeah, something is history. This even could have happened in the past or somebody here was trying to bring back, resurface the past, make it happen in this present day. This person is lost. They're ghosted. They've been blocked, cut off. Okay. They also feel like they have a magnetic pull to you. Okay. But they don't know what to do since you ghosted them. They can't explain like why they are still feeling a way about you. Something can most definitely be happening today. Okay. Be mindful of this individual wanting to come back towards you. I'm also seeing here, yeah, there was a pause. Something was paused because of this person's emotions. So there could have been a, some type of pause that took place. Oh, yeah, somebody here was dealing with somebody who was forbidden, a forbidden love. They, this person has receipts on this individual. What's this tragedy about? Yeah, somebody here is gossiping about you. They're a petty individual. They're very jealous of you, Pisces. This is like a third-party situation here, yeah. And it's like this person could be sending you like messages that they want to commit to you, but they could have wanted you to be cool with this other person that is jealous of you, that's envious of you. They were, they could be sleeping with this person and this energy is like, I have receipts that this person is with me, okay? But this person really wants to be with you or really wants to be with both of you. Like this is, uh, -uh. yeah, this person wants to come together. I cannot make it up. Reconciliation, spiritually, they feel like you are spiritually connected to them, but you were saved from this situation. There's been, been a lot of people involved in this as well. Yeah, and it's time to be happy. It's like you could have have a you could have an overflow of different blessings coming into your life at this time. And this person is like really going through the emotions because they feel trapped. They feel trapped in a situation with a karmic. This is or this is a karmic individual. Okay, yeah, this person wants to try to pop up on you as well. Mm -mm.
Yeah, and they're fake. Somebody is fake and they're living beyond their means. They're pretending that everything is all good. It's all a lie. It's all a facade. Yeah, this person is really heartbroken over you. They're heartbroken over the fact that you're winning, okay, that they're juggling their money, their resources, and that you freed yourself from this karmic, the devil in the reverse. You drop this zero to gain a whole hero. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You drop the zero. You, you drop this devil energy, this karmic energy. Somebody here literally wanted you to oof, resort to low vibrational things, to be focused on lust, temptation, competing, to be focused on being in like a polygamous type of situation. God does not like none of that. Like, he doesn't. He doesn't. He didn't create Adam, Eve, and Eva. Okay. He, he, mm -mm. he didn't create Adam, Eve, and, and Lucy. No, okay, no, no. He didn't create Adam, Paul, and Marianne. He didn't, he did, what, like, what is that? <laughs> no, no. He's like, and he's not about to bless anything like that either. He's not. Someone here could be realizing this with the two of pentacles in the reverse. This, somebody here realizes, like, you have dropped, she's right here, Parmati. Someone here realized that you have dropped something that was extremely toxic to you. You wanna say hey? Say hey. Hey. The Pisces. She always wants to say hey to y'all. Say hey. <laughs> okay. I love you. Okay. Yeah, the devil card. You free yourself from something that was extremely toxic and low vibrational. And this person doesn't know what to do now with the two of pentacles because now you're at a place of success. Victory, rewards, accolades. That ten of pentacles wanted to pop. I know you saw it. You have nothing but wealth and prosperity. Blessings coming toward you. That's where you're being guided towards Pisces. This person is heartbroken over this. They don't know what to do. Okay, they wanted to fight you. They wanted to f cause discord to you. They wanted to compete with you. Okay, they wanted to put you in some... Yeah, look at this. The emperor. This even could have been a father figure. Okay? Or someone that wanted heavy control over you. Okay, there you go, Pisces, with the Queen of Cups. So this is your energy. This is you, like, literally taking charge of your life, over your stability, over your security. What's the emperor? You listening to your intuition, your better judgment. You taking care of house, home. You laying down law. People not being able to get over on you with the emperor. And the Queen of Cups. Oh, this is also like a balance between your masculine and your feminine energy. You're extremely balanced. You come across as you. It's like people, men can be intimidated of you. If you were a woman, if you were a man, you are most definitely in your masculine energy. But you also have like a touch of your, you, you, you listen to your empathic side. You're very intuitive. You're very loving. You would come across as kind. You come across as someone that's in tune with up above. You could pray. Okay. It's like you. You don't come off as, as someone that is easily swayed away from your spiritual beliefs, male or female. With the Queen of Cups, like you know yourself. You know what you know what type of love you want and you know what type of love you don't want. Okay? Tell me about this emperor being here. Yeah, and that's what's bringing you prosperity and good karma with the Justice card and the Ace of Pentacles. That's what's bringing you in wealth. That's what's bringing you in prosperity. That's what's bringing you in this abundance, this new beginning. This could be a new job offer coming in, wealth coming in, a new home coming in. You're getting the keys to something with the Ace of Pentacles. Something is about to be very big for you. Something is about to be very massive for you. It's coming with the Eight of Pentacles being here. Continue to put in the work. Continue to drive because that's what's bringing you in good karma. With the judgment card being here, that's what's bringing you in good karma. Father God sees it, what you are working on, and he's getting ready to bless you immensely because of it. Yeah, this took a long time, too, with the Knight of Pentacles to get out of your mind about a situation and decide to just move forward. But it's like you're finally doing it. I'm picking up on the energy. It did take a long time with the five of cups. Somebody is regretting that too. They they could have wanted to keep coming towards you with like broken promises with the page of cups, immature offers, small offers, small gestures. They were hopeful that that was going to keep you, but it didn't. The eight of cups, you decided to leave that alone. They were hoping that that was going to be able to cause a delay. Yeah, this could have even been a, a Virgo doing this, the magician. Yeah, they were manifesting you wanting to build an empire with them, wanting to collaborate with them, wanting to take, oh yeah, the Six of Pentacles so that they could take from you and give to everyone else. You found out the truth, the Queen of Swords, and you went cold on that. Yeah, the Nine of Cups wanted to flip. 
see how the magician is here. I'm sorry, the hangman. There was a delay. Yeah, this they, they even could have tried to delay your manifestations from coming in with the star card. Somebody here was trying to delay your blessings. Okay, literally, that's the truth. And this person's going through nothing but bad karma, hell and hot water because of that with judgment card. Okay, they're stuck in the past. They did not want to embrace some type of spiritual change, spiritual transformation, evolving that was needed at this time with judgment card. And they're about to experience a lot of powers because of it, literally for being deceptive, for being a liar, for being manipulative, and for trying to stop you in different ways with the eight of wands. Now you have positive changes coming in. There's nothing that this person could do. Somebody's trying to sneak away, but they're about to get hit with the eight of wands. Yeah. Yeah. This could even be like something they're they're gonna try to hide this with the moon card, but God is gonna let sure that God is gonna make sure that you know what's going on with this person. Somebody here was trying to take from you in different ways with the seven of pentacles. They were and they're trying to use sex to do it too. Yeah, they they chose hmm, they chose what they wanted to do. We all have choices with the wheel of fortune, and you chose correct, Pisces, with the king of cups. You're also getting, yeah, you're extremely balanced with your masculine and your feminine energy because you popped out as the queen of cups. Now you're popping out as the king of cups. This could also be divine timing for you to meet a true counterpart. Someone who is actually aligned with you out of the, out of the options that you have, you're going to be meeting someone who is actually emotionally grounded, and mature, who went through similar trials like you, but that was able to get over it. It's divine timing for you to have favor, blessings in your life. Okay, let's see. Trying to look for the other deck, y'all. Anything else that Pisces needs to know? Please and thank you. Yeah, the magic backfired. That's why you have this big blessing of wealth that's coming towards you, Empress. Literally. <laughs> Somebody here tried to curse your money. They didn't want you to have money. They didn't want you to have wealth. They didn't realize, like, you're protected. Your money is protected. Yeah, this was a very manipulative energy that tried to do this. This was their worst nightmare. Now they're behind on bills, okay? And they could be realizing that you're moving forward. You also have new love that's coming in. For some, this could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, somebody's plans didn't work. They thought they were going to work. They're not. The letter L could be significant as well. First, middle, or last initial. Yours or theirs. Okay, I'm seeing here. Yeah, your spirit guide stepped in. Some, yeah, this person was not single, and they were just trying to make it hard for you to move on from them. You're about to be winning in all areas of your life. You're about to be getting a new car, a new house, traveling, a new career, Okay, a new job, new money, and real love is getting ready to come towards you. But yeah, this person was spiritually, I'm sorry, was physically or verbally abusive, even spiritually abusive to you, which is why your angels and your ancestors are all around you at this time. They could be also pushing you to go through a spiritual awakening that could be taking place. Yeah, this person was also on the down low, a bisexual. They didn't want you to know this. And that popped out before for you, Pisces. Yeah, strength is required, or it's going to take some type of, you know, inner strength, inner willpower to get through this. The letter N could be significant. The letter H, first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs, or you. Somebody likes to use the word hun. Hey, hun. Somebody may call you hun. You're on different pages with this person. You guys aren't even on the same level or on the different. You guys aren't even on the same, like, energy I'm seeing here, yeah, this person is waiting for you, or they it could be waiting to hear from you, I'm seeing here, waiting, yeah, you have blessings coming in from the divine, this was also a group effort in regards to this, I'm seeing here, yeah, you are very empathic, okay, you can have tattoos, or someone here has tattoos, yeah, job well done, okay, this person was a narcissistic energy. I'm seeing here, yeah, don't be too quick to react because this person was trying to do love spells on you and they're salty as freak right now. They could be also going to jail, 
okay? Spiritual jail. Yeah, you're about to receive a new car, a Bentley, a Porsche, a Audi, a Lambo, a Benz, or a BMW. I'm also seeing here, yeah, you could be a father figure or somebody's father was involved in this as well. I'm seeing here, yeah, you have a date night that's coming. Your ops and your enemies are failing and they are defeated. Yeah, you have a big money payout that's coming towards you as well. I'm seeing here. And you have angelic, spiritual, and ancestral protection. Yeah, you're about to spring forward. I'm seeing here. 444. Four, four. And you have that big money payout that's coming in. Or this could be a big money payout that's getting ready to come towards you in the springtime. You could be receiving... Yeah, a blessing from the divine. <laughs> Literally, that's getting ready to come towards you. They just want you to be patient. Ooh. You could also have Virgo in your birth chart. Or there could have been some type of major changes that's about to take place for Virgo 555 this year. Major life changes are on the way. It's time for you to embrace the new and let go of the old. All right, and let's get some... Final message for Pisces. Final message for Pisces, please and thank you. Final message for Pisces. Okay, yeah, we have here make better choices, Pisces. If you're pissed out about, if you're pissed over where you are, stop taking yourself there. Stop, stop engaging or stop going to somewhere that makes you feel a type of way at the end of it. And I also see here, stop effing whining. Okay, no one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. They're giving you the strength to change something, to make something better, to evolve something. Yeah, you got a feeling that you can't just shake because it has to do with the little voice inside of you. They want you to listen to your intuition. I'm seeing here, and it's time to focus on love, okay? Get some, give some, and it will cheer you up. You have a lot of love that's around you. Yeah, and there's something that you could be needing to apologize about. They just want you to just do it. This is even just, this could even be just apologizing to yourself. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be with you always, Pisces, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.